everyone, thanks for joining me as I create this art journal page. Today I'm working in my Large Dilutions art journal and I'm creating a background with a bunch of Dina Weekly Media paints using a dry brush technique. I'm going to keep applying paints to my page until I'm happy with the blend and the coverage that I've created. The names of these paints and all the other products that I will be using in today's video are listed in the description below. While my background is drying, I'm grabbing some loose printed papers and a stencil and I'm going to begin tracing hearts on the back side of the printed paper. The reason why I'm tracing on the back is that when I cut them all out, if I miss a little bit or I have little bits of the pen showing, it won't be on the printed paper, it'll be on the back where no one will see it. I'm also using a paint pen which will dry permanently. Next, I'm going to put down some stickled glitter gel with a mini blending tool through a stencil and this is a really easy mess free way to get glitter all over your page with very little work. After everything's dry, I'm going in with a ruler and a white watercolor pencil to make some lines so that I can place all of my hearts down in perfect straight lines and it'll be awesome for my next part of my technique. I am using a white watercolor pencil because as I glue everything down, the wet adhesive is going to dissolve that watercolor pencil so that I'm only going to see it when I'm placing down my hearts, but it will dissolve. So as you can see, I'm gluing everything down with distressed collage medium. And as I place down the collage medium for each heart, that white line is disappearing. And then after I have all the hearts in place, I'm going to let this dry a minute before I grab my white rub-ons. And these are coming from the 49 and Market Rough Stitched Rub-On Set. This is the white set. I'm going to place these white rub-ons on top of all my hearts through the center so it looks like I have stitched marks down my rows of hearts. Next I'm using a piece of vellum that come in the same set as the rest of these printed papers and I'm gluing it down on top of the printed paper that comes in also in the set. Now it's time to start creating some focal points while my page is drying. I'm using a moment stamp by Dina Weekly Media and a bunch of scribble sticks. I'm spraying water onto my stamp and then applying the scribble stick, spraying some more water, and now I'm able to stamp these scribble sticks onto my piece of paper. I'm going to do this in several colors and then cut everything out. I'm also cutting out the dragonfly embellishment that I made. And now I'm ready to begin working on the actual page. So I put down a layer of white paint, as you can see. Now I'm splattering some pink paint and I'm ready to glue down all of my focal point embellishments. So I'm layering these flowers, which I cut out earlier, and I am using, once again, Distress Collage Medium to glue everything down. I like to use Distress Collage Medium when I'm doing any kind of paper piecing, as that, kind of, that glue has an instant bond and won't allow things to move around a bunch, which is nice when we're trying to do definitive paper piecing and we want things to dry right away and not move around, as some glues allow you to. I'm layering these three flowers to create a form of a bouquet. And then I'm going to overlay this dragonfly right on top of it. And that will be the final focal point for my page. So the thing I like about doing the dragonfly like this is that because it was vellum, it was clear, but I glued it down onto a piece of paper. So I was actually able to create my own custom embellishment. And with that, my page is complete. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas to use in your own art journals. If so, I would love to see them. So take a picture and post using hashtag art journal junction. If you enjoyed the video today, please give us a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our mixed media or art journaling videos in the future.